What's going on internet? So three tips on how to make your mural interactive using magnetic paint. I recently did a project with TNT making a mural that was interactive where people were able to move around X's and O's and arrows to make their own plays and it came out really well. It hasn't been installed yet, but it came out really well. I wanna share the three tips on using this magnetic paint. So here we go. So magnetic paint is not actually magnets embedded into the paint. It's actually a formula paint primer that has metal embedded into the formula so that when you in introduce magnets to whatever surface you, you're painting on, that magnet can stick to that surface. And because it's the paint primer, you're able to put a second design layer on top of whatever you're painting with that magnetic paint. And magnetic paint comes in different brands. You can get one from Rust-Oleum, which is oil-based. I get one called Magnetize It on Amazon for $127 per gallon. Really expensive, but it worked out really well. I got two gallons of that for my project, which is painting five four by eight panels put together to make a eight by 20 foot wall. And I painted the entire top half of those panels with that magnetic paint. So the first tip that I have when using this magnetic paint is to paint a ton of different layers. The more layers that you prime whatever surface that you're painting on, the more metal you start to add to that sort of surface, making sure that that magnet can actually stick to that surface. I know a lot of people will read the reviews on these different brands of mag magnetic paint and see that it has a low sort of um, review, and that's because people will only put one layer on or a thin layer on expecting any magnet to sort of stick to it, but you have to do a ton of layers. For my project, I did between six and seven layers. The second tip that I have is using iron powder shavings to add to that formula. So you can get iron powder on Amazon as well. Basically, it's a powder that's iron shaving. So all that little sh sort of powdered form is just iron. So the bottle that you get, I get about a quart of it on Amazon is really heavy because like I said, it is basically just iron, the actual metal. So I use that and poured all of that into the two gallons of the magnetic paint formula that I had. That made that formula really thick and it comes out like a really thick sort of uh, dough and it feels really heavy, but you're able to spread that around with just a roller. Adding metal iron shavings or that powder to that formula just ensures that there's a lot more metal in that formula that you're spreading around the surface. So I had a really thick layer of that magnetic paint, meaning I had a really thick layer of metal in different parts of that mural. And the third tip that I would always suggest is making sure that you use the right magnets. So using this strong rare earth magnet, I think they're called neodymium. Neodymium. What? Really strong magnet, we'll just say that because it's hard to say, I keep forgetting how to pronounce it, but the really strong magnets, not the one that you can get at Home Depot or Walmart off the shelf. You really have to get the really strong ones that you can get on Amazon. I got a ton of those, so I used those, attached them to the X's and O's and arrows that I wanted people to play around with, and based on how big the X's and O's and arrows were, I added more magnets to compensate for the more weight of the cutout, the laser cutout that I did on wood. And basically now people are able to move around those X's and O's, arrows, names, and numbers on my mural design and make it really interactive and customize it whenever they want to do a selfie photo in front of my piece. So hopefully you take those tips and you can actually make your mural interactive. Basically, like I said, I did the first layer with that magnetic paint. I did a ton of different layers with the powdered shaving uh, that I added to those two gallons. And now you're able to have magnets stick right to it. Once TNT installs it on the actual activation site and I take videos and photos of it, I'll make sure I share those so that you can see exactly how people are interacting with this interactive mural uh, using the magnets and magnetic paint. So hopefully this helped out and I will see you next time. Peace.